What have they done to my boy? Now, just to give a little disclaimer, I do not hate this game. This is a good game, but it is not RE4. No way, Leon. Way. <laughs> Words cannot begin to describe my overall disappointment with what they have done to my favorite video game ever. But as they're the only medium in which a human can express such a complex topic, I will deign to try. Let's start with tone. The tone of this game is completely all over the place. The one line left in about bingo is all that remains from the first game. This game takes itself so very seriously now. Everything is gritty, darker, realistic, with Leon being the worst offender. Whereas before, he was a hyper-competent goofball. Hmm. Where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Fall for this old trick. Now Leon is a void of personality. I would go as far to say that there is no personality left for Leon to fill other than uber serious cop you. guy. Hey, listen, about earlier. Yeah, by that. Uh, Great. Who are you? Ironic you that if this is the version that Leon was presented in his original form, there would probably be zero love for the character at all. <laughs> While RE4 Remake Leon completes a lot of the same events as the original, he does so with absolutely zero style, zero charm, no stupid quips or absurd humor. Whereas the original RE4 Leon would be running away from a giant mech of the antagonist, narrowly escape with his life before turning around and delivering the cheesiest one-liner possible. Why don't you do us all a favor and leave before the audience gets pissed off? Leon in RE4 felt like a character who belonged in the absurdity that surrounded him. And him being completely unfazed by everything thrown at him made him the memorable character he is today. This is the whole reason the game was remade in the first place, to capitalize on nostalgia for the vastly superior product. Capcom sanded Leon down to perfectly average video game protagonist number 78. I would like you to hand the girl over to me now yeah fat chance ramon the girl's just fine with me i have to ask and who is this for new players aren't going to remember this version of leon he's a wet noodle with no charm but aside from our leading man the world has changed a lot too someone at capcom went down the list and struck off every set piece that they deemed too goofy and in the process contributed to making re4 significantly less memorable the boulder run in the village, the lava room, the bulldozer, the speeding car, Mecha Salazar, the spike room, the laser room, cable car sniping, and so many more. It's these critical moments where I kept asking myself, surely this will be in the game, right? No, it will not. Without all these amazing varied set pieces, the game feels less like Resident Evil 4 and more like another bland third person shooter that apes the combat mechanics and nothing else. By removing these set pieces, Capcom has effectively removed the soul of the game. Okay, so what do we get in return? They put durability on the knife. Why? Because there's a parry. Why? Because all of the cool games have parries. How will you balance it? Well, get this, your knife breaks and you have to pay to get it fixed or you can't use it. Why? Why? Parrying is honestly a cheapo trick they couldn't figure out how to balance in the original RE4 sandbox without a band-aid fix. Most of the time, my knife was broken while playing. In the original, the knife was a really poor fallback option baked into your kit that could be used to escape some tight situations. In this game, parrying is at the core of a lot of encounters, and those moments when you are without your knife, you are basically playing original RE4 at that point anyway, running to avoid attacks and not being able to block. There had to have been a better way to balance this. I had to have spent 10% of my run's currency on damn knife repairs. Then we have side quests, which are literally the most boring copy and paste objectives ever. Remember the blue medallions in the first game? Get ready to do that six more times across different areas of the game, or kill three rats in different hallways or areas, or fight a slightly powered up version of a normal enemy. No thanks. No thanks, bro. This game fails to capture the original's charm in almost every conceivable way for me. This, at the end of the day, was a product created with one thing in mind, and that was money. All of the removed content has been supplanted with non-memorable, generic third-person shooter drivel. 
I'm so disappointed to say that no one will be talking about this game in 20 years. I can't even tell you what happened in the castle in this game, as I literally cannot picture it. This game will not create ravenous fans the way the first did, because it lacks the original's energy and charm. The gameplay is the only thing that has improved, and even that is debatable. What a waste. I could easily see people playing this and not understanding what all the hype for the original was. If you made it this far into the video and you don't feel the need to personally attack me for my views on the game, then why don't you uh, go ahead and consider subscribing and following me for more content. Yeah, thanks.